Lord, we just love you this afternoon, Father. We thank you for your the power of agreement, God. I thank you that you are alive and well. You're not you're not just some dead God somewhere, and this is not just some dead religion, but this is a relationship with a, a true God, the God of heaven and an earth. The one that said in the beginning, let there be light, and there was, is you are the same God today. Hallelujah. So if we've got a dark situation or a dead situation, you're the same God that can speak life into it. Amen. And I thank you that we are your mouthpieces. Amen. We yield our mouth and we yield our tongue to you tonight and speak the word of God. Hallelujah. We just thank you that there is power. When we speak your word in faith, there is power coming forth to do what needs to be done, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you're comforting the Cromer family tonight. I thank you, Lord, that this eye surgery has already been preordained to be perfect. Hallelujah. And I thank you for that, God. I thank you for each person that is here tonight. Let us get a hold of your word tonight and let us take it and mix faith with it, not just in one ear and out the other, but we're going to take it and we're going to hear it by, by faith, by the ear of our heart tonight, not just intellectually we're going to say, yeah, that I agree, but no, we're going to mix faith with it and it's going to be get on the inside of us and spring forth as a mighty river. And I just thank you tonight for each person that's here. Thank you for each person that will see by social media, by the internet, God. I thank you for each one of them that's tuned in. I thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit is ministering to them even now as they're watching this, whenever they're watching this. Amen. You are there present with them. You are a very present help in the time of need. And I just thank you for being there to, to wrap your arms around them and to lift them up. And I praise you for that in Jesus' name. Come on, let the church say amen tonight. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will draw for you and make me glad. His gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter His courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Bye. 
the Lord. And since I met that blessed Savior, yes, <laughs> hallelujah, since he came and made me whole, hallelujah, I'll never cease to praise him. My Lord have mercy. Powerful song, praise God. Amen. Are y'all ready to receive the word tonight? Have you come out for a word from God? Have you come out? Paul said, I don't come with enticing words of man's wisdom. But I come in demonstration of the Spirit and the power. Do you, do, you, do you long to see a demonstration and power of God? I, I'm telling you, we're not just uh, in a classroom here to learn in a, you know, up here in our brain, but we're here to experience the presence of God. We're here to experience the power of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need to show up expecting. When I go in that, in that building, we come together. We're going to feel the presence of God. Amen. We're going to yield to this presence of God and the Holy Spirit, the glory. The Bible talks about they, 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 they couldn't stand in the glory of God. Hallelujah. I still believe that we can experience a service where people can't even stand up because of the glory of God in that room. Hallelujah. Supernatural. You say, well, that sounds silly. Well, you think it's silly all you want. I think it's power. It's God's power. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe in a supernatural church. Come on. Do you believe in a supernatural church? I don't believe in a dead church. I believe in a supernatural church. We, we got to make sure we don't put God in a little old small that he's this little small God. You do remember, you do realize that he's in Genesis verse zero, right? You know, the Bible says in the beginning, you know, God was before the beginning. God yeah. began the beginning. Come on, think about it. God is much more, he's way bigger than what we give him credit for. Amen. God existed before he said, let there be light. He, he existed before he said, in the beginning was the earth, was the, uh, was the word. Amen. Praise God. God is a big guy. Amen. And I and you are a son and a daughter of God. We're in God's family. Man, what does that mean? That means I got access to all that power. I got access to the abilities that God has. I, my kids have all, they have, the, they have access to anything I have. And how much more is God like that? Because, see, I still on the inside of me have some selfishness to deal with. Maybe some, I don't want them touching this, and I don't want them touch. But God is complete love. He's perfect love. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not even a good example to compare God to a man or a woman. But you know what I'm trying to get at. Amen. How much more does God love us? And freely, he's freely given us all things. Richly to enjoy. I know people, some people don't like that word rich. I ain't figured that out yet. Amen. I've been poor and I've been richer than poor. I like the richer side. I don't know about you. Amen. Praise God. Jesus came that we might have abundant life. My Lord have mercy. All right. If you're ready for the word, I know Sister Janice is ready to, to, to deliver the word. Amen. I know her well enough. She's going to say, I'm going to step to the side and let the Holy Spirit use her and use her vocal cords. Yeah, and you. she's going to yield herself to the Spirit of God tonight. Amen. amen. And I guarantee you, if you say amen and you start shouting a little bit, it'll just pull it out of her. She won't even have to. It won't even be an effort. Praise God. It's just It'll start flowing. So are you going to respond tonight? Amen. We're not going to be just hearers only, but we're going to be doers of the Word. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You just enjoy the word tonight. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. Yeah, all the time. All the time. God yeah. is God good. Is Brother good. Jerry said some people didn't like that sign we had up here. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't like it saying God is good all the time. And, yeah. and uh, I'll just tell you how I, uh, I don't generally tell people how I feel, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about what I feel about that. As long as I'm alive, it'll be up there. <laughs> Are you listening? Because God is good all the time. And it is the goodness of God that leads people to repentance. And it is. Goodness is God's love in action. Hallelujah. If it was not for the goodness of God, David said, I would have fainted. Anybody in the house? Have you been just felt run around and drug around and pushed around? And if it hadn't have been that you remembered how good God was, you'd have give up. Come on. Lift up your hands. I'd have just said, look, if I didn't forget, remember that, I'd have fainted in the time of adversity. Sister 
Rwanda, but God is always good. And if I remember that and I focus on that, that means in every situation, I can just enjoy myself. It don't matter what I, where I find myself, I can enjoy myself in the Lord. And we need to know, Sister Linda, that happiness comes and goes, but joy is way down deep. Hallelujah. And it's from the Spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody say from the Spirit. The devil can't touch your joy. He can mess with your happiness, but he can't touch your joy. And you need to know that tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to need that microphone. Uh, when Brother John gets back in here, Brother uh, Kenneth, if you'll get that, because y'all going to help me again tonight. Hallelujah. How many of you are, are in the mood to worship God tonight? Yeah. I like that song that says, Long as I have breath, I will praise you, Lord. As long as I can sing, I will sing your praises. Come on. Wherever you lead me, I will follow you. As long as I have breath, I will praise you, Lord. As long as I have of his hands. Amen. That's Psalm 77 11. We're going to go to 1 Kings 8 and 56. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I love it. Hallelujah. Brother Kenneth, you got the mic? I would, would you read that for us? How many of you are going to join in and you're going to take part tonight? Because there's one thing about it. I, I, I'm not just teaching a, a lesson on math. I'm not teaching science or, or whatever. I'm not going to be a test afterwards. Even though life has a test, you're going you're gonna to run into a test, all right. And you're going to need this word. But we're teaching the word of God, which is alive. Hallelujah. And I believe, how many of you are going to believe with me, that Revelation Revelation knowledge, come on, is going to flow, Brother Keith, through this building tonight. Revelation knowledge. You're going to know something when you leave here that you didn't know when you got here. Hallelujah. I believe revelation knowledge is going to flow by the power of the Holy Spirit. All I need is one person to set their self in agreement with me about that. Are you going to be that? That revelation knowledge will flow in this building tonight. Hallelujah. We will know what we didn't know. Glory to God. We have entered into a place of, of revelation knowledge of more in 2024 than we ever have before. And we need to keep our focus on that too. The devil's always 
just want to take your focus. Brother Kenneth, go ahead and, and read that portion of Scripture, if you would. Second Kings 8 and 56. Six. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that he promised. There hath not failed one word, <laughs> thank you, Lord, <laughs> of his good promises, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Not one word. Somebody say not one word. Now, first of all, Brother John was talking about God. You can't compare God to anybody. How many people do you know that can say that? Not one word failed of the promise they made you. Come on. Not every person I've ever known has failed me at one time or another and every person I've ever known I have failed at one time or another but you can't compare God with nobody because not one word of that he's spoken not one of all his good words and they were thousands of them not one has failed and we just need to say praise the Lord lift up your hands and thank God for that hallelujah amen God has done some amazing things hallelujah somebody say he brought me out he brought me out and he brought me in hallelujah I thank God that he brought me in. Just bringing me out wasn't enough. I need to be brought in. He has done everything he declared to me, everything in his word, and not one word of all his good promises has failed. And I say amen, hallelujah. God's already brought me out. We said of worse things than you're facing right now. God has already brought you out of. It's just sometimes, Sister Terry, we forget. We get focused on other stuff. Time passes and we forget. We was talking about some things, Brother Jerry and I, the other day. And we need to set ourselves to remember. I set myself to remember every day. And the Lord has told me repeatedly. He said, come on, don't forget. Don't forget. Go to Psalms 103. Amen. He said, don't let things happen and cause you to forget things. Uh, Brother Jerry is one fine husband. I'm going to tell you, he is the best husband any woman could ever have. I'm just telling you, he's, he is, in my opinion, the greatest man I've ever known. That's just bar none. Hallelujah. He's a great man for many, many, many reasons. And you know that every morning, I, I hadn't even told him this, but every morning I got a half a page of things that I'm thanking God for him. I have a kind husband, a caring husband, a good husband, a hard-working husband, a handsome husband. And I say that doesn't look anywhere near his age. Hello. Glory to God. And today, somebody told him, they said, uh, but, uh, said Jerry, uh, Mr. Adcock, what they call you? Jerry or Adcock? And they said, uh, you said a birthday coming up. They wanted to know how old you were going to be, how young you're going to be. And you told them, and what they say? Believe. They couldn't believe it. Now, yes, another one of my declarations coming true. Hallelujah. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. Come on. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to stir ourselves up. You know why? Because if you don't, you'll settle to the bottom. You've got to stir yourself up. Paul said, I'm stirring you up by remembrance. Amen. Glory to God. And he said, I don't get weary for that. So don't think that I get weary for stirring you up. That's what I'm here for for. Hallelujah. I'm here. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, yeah. and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. David was making a declaration. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And man, he's got some good ones. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth what? Oh, oh. Why am I reading this by myself? Brother John, get that mic and read something. Hallelujah. Come on, read something. <laughs> Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, <laughs> who heals all thy diseases. Isn't that good? Come on, That's let's good. do number four. This is good. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Ooh, I got a crown of loving kindness and tender mercy. Come Keep on. reading. Hallelujah. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Come on, like the uh, eagles. Come on, how are the eagles, uh, <laughs> what is the characteristics of eagle? Do y'all remember? Long life. Yep. Strong. Amen. Strength. Strong. Hallelujah. Swift. And yep. swiftness. Somebody oh. say, my swiftness is being renewed. Swiftness Hallelujah. Being Come on. Renewed. No dragging around some swiftness. Brother Donald, will you do some reading for us? Uh, 
come on, take right up, take this to Brother Donald. Thank you, Brother Kenneth. Uh, I want you to go back to this first uh, part here of Psalms 103 and 1 because the Bible says, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing and hearing. Hallelujah. And just, just read this and, and let the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all his that is within me, bless his holy name. I got this marked in my Bible. And I got I got marked, I titled it myself. All right. Rejoice in the Lord. All right. All right. And if if you start number one and go all the way down to Number five, there's a lot of rejoicing. There's going a lot on. of rejoicing right there. Lord Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm with you. I'm joining. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his oh. benefits. That's good. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Uh -huh. Who hath all thy diseases? Yes, he does. Thank you, Jesus. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Hmm. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Hmm. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed Nude. like the eagles. Like the eagles. Hallelujah. Amen. There's tremendous power in remembering. Glory to God. The word remember we said was used 1,200 times in the Bible. 1,200. The word forget is used 300 times. One of the main things we need to remember, and this is what I'm trying to finish this teaching, I don't know if I'll ever get through with it until I go be with Jesus, to remember is on the faithfulness of God. God is faithful. People are always focusing, Sister Linda, about unfaithfulness of people. Well, this person didn't treat me right. Sister Linda was sharing something with me. Well, that's just not fair for somebody to, you know, they, they're, they don't live a good godly life and then right at the last minute of their life they, they say Lord forgive me they get to go to heaven that don't seem fair that's love hallelujah amen and the faithfulness of God and the faithfulness to his word hallelujah that that I look about and think about well that person wasn't faithful to me or that person didn't treat me right and God said stop it I've always treated you good come on has God always been good to you has God treated you well hallelujah God has treated me well every day of my life. Hallelujah. And he's the one I can call on in the middle of the night. Hallelujah. When nobody else is awake, when nobody, if I was to knock on their door, they'd want me to go away. And he's like this with open arms. What do you need, baby? He's saying that to me. You might not say it to me, but I'm his baby. Hallelujah. And he's like, come on, what do you need? He's the only one I can call in the middle of the night when all my friends are gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I don't know how to put things in words, Sister Crystal, I can go to the Master. I can talk to Him. I can, I can just cry. And He knows what I'm saying. Do y'all believe that? The Bible says He does. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, He, he intercedes for us with groanings. That I can't, even, I can't even have the words to say how I feel. But the Holy Spirit that He gave, He, sent, he prayed to the Father, the Holy Spirit would be in me. Look at how faithful He was. He said, I'm going to pray to the Father, and He's going to send you another comforter just like me, and He's going to abide with you forever. And guess what? He prayed, the Holy Spirit came, and He's here, and somebody say, forever. Amen. Forever. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people have said, I, I, I ain't going nowhere. I'll be with you. You can count on me. I'll be there for the duration. And only to find out they didn't know what the word duration meant. But God does. Hallelujah. Oh, he said not one of his promises ever fail me. And I'm going to tell you something. Somebody told me one time they had had some issues and things had come up. And they they'd made this statement. They had felt like they'd served the Lord and the Lord had let them down. I know I felt that way before too one time. And uh, one of the things they said, they said, he just failed me. God failed me. And um, he didn't do what he said, and, and that's not what the Word says. 
He said not one of his promises have failed. You may have misunderstood. You may have not known what he was trying to tell you through the scripture, but God doesn't fail anybody. God is faithful and God is true. Hallelujah. So the apostle Paul brings uh, Timothy and reminds him. He said, I'm putting you in remembrance. He did it to help him in his current situation. Whatever you're going through, and let me say it, you're going to either be coming out of a problem, you're in a problem, or you're going going into a problem almost every day of your life. There's something that comes up. There's some, something in your family or there's something in the finances. And I heard what the preacher said. He said, look, I, I, I'm not a sick person trying to get well. I'm a well person that's fighting off sickness because the devil don't want me to be well. So I need to know the truth. The, tr the Bible says you'll know the truth and what it'll do? Come on, it'll make you free. Somebody say, I'm getting freer tonight. Hallelujah. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We can trust the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, take the mic to uh, Brother uh, Keith over here. Brother Keith Copeland tonight. And let him let him read that scripture for us. I like to hear it. And when this is, goes on Facebook, I want people to be able to hear the scriptures that's being read. Amen. Come on. Yes, please. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, a faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. <laughs> Come on, how many generations? A to a thousand generations. Come on, I want you to meditate on that. He said, know therefore. Come on, we're supposed to know something. That the Lord thy God, come on, is he your God? Is he your Father? He is God. Hallelujah. Like he was before the beginning was God. Hallelujah. The faithful God. That's his faithfulness. Which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him. All you can do is love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. God. People think God's done forgot about my family. Has a thousand generations passed yet? God is keeping covenant. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Somebody praise his name right now. Amen. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 4. Hallelujah. Then we're going to go to Psalms. Let's we'll see how far we're going to go tonight. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love it. Uh, Sister Wanda, if you take the mic to Sister Wanda and let her read that up on the board. I love it. There's there's no rock like God. <laughs> He's our rock. Amen. He is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Yes. Just and right is he. Amen. Just and right is he. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I can count on that. Come on. Psalms 36 and 5. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Kenneth, go ahead and read that if you would. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. Whew, glory to God. Faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Oh, Amen. Somebody give praise for that. Glory to God. His mercy, hallelujah, is in the heaven and thy faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Amen. 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 Sister Terry, let, uh, let her read tonight. Psalms 37 and 3. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're on the faithfulness of God. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be <laughs> fed. Do I have to worry about being fed? I do not. Hallelujah. Just trust in the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm trusting in. What am I trusting in, Brother Donald? I'm trusting in his faithfulness. I'm trusting in this word that we're reading tonight that not one jot or one tittle is going to pass and not one good not one good promise he made me is ever going to pass. So why do we sit around, as Matthew 6 says, why do we sit around and, and fret about what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear, what we're going to 
drink and he told us not to do that. Yeah. He said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things are going to be added to you. You don't have to worry about nothing. All you need is to believe what the word says and believe in the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Keith Rasnick, Psalms 89 and 1. Take that mic back there to him, darling, if you don't mind. Some people, uh, Brother Jerry was saying something the other day. He said, somebody said I was a little bossy. I won't say who that was. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 89 and 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. What is he saying? I'm never going to shut up. I'm going to sing the mercy about the mercies of God. Anybody in the house going to do that? Mm -hmm. If you say, well, I don't sing, but you're going to sing about it. And with your mouth, you're going to make known his faithfulness. If somebody's saying, no, I, oh yeah, God is faithful always to a thousand generations. Glory to God. Psalms 91 and 4. Sister Linda, do you want to read that tonight? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. God is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Amen. Amen. I'm going to trust. Hallelujah. Under his wings. Hallelujah. I'm going to trust. What am I going to trust? His faithfulness. I'm going to trust his faithfulness. If I'm in a storm... I'm going to trust his faithfulness. Hallelujah. I'm going to trust that he's with me and he's bringing me out. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm coming out of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm coming out. Somebody needs to say, I'm, 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 I'm coming up. I'm coming out. And I'm going over. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say it about my family. Say, my family. Amen. My family's coming up. Coming out. Going over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We can trust the Lord. Brother the jury, if they uh, but bring take the mic to him. He's got a built a one built in, but he needs it to be heard on the on the uh, taping. Psalms 100 verse 5. I'm just trying to get him back for what he said about me on Sunday. For all y'all that wasn't here <laughs> on Sunday, you just have to go. You just have to go back and ask somebody that was. It was fun, wasn't it? Hallie? It was a good message on the love of God. Mm -hmm. Psalms 105. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. His mercy is what? <laughs> everlasting. Everlasting. Amen. And God is Never the Lord is good. <laughs> His mercy yeah. uh, is everlasting. You can't outlast the mercy of God. Uh, while well, you've got that microphone up there, Brother Jerry, let's go to uh, Psalms 108 and 4. If you don't mind doing some reading, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, amen. Psalms 108, verse 4. Thank you, Lord. Well, it's on our board if you can see it. Okay, I like to read it out of my Bible. All right, we'll wait on it. 108 and 4. Yes. For thy mercy is great uh, above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Amen, amen. Somebody say praise God. Amen, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise Thank you, God. Jesus, so much. Sister Crystal, let's go to Psalms 117, verse 2. Take the mic to her and let her do some reading tonight. Hallelujah. We need to do some meditating tonight. We're eating tonight. Right now, Sister Linda, we're eating. How many of you is eating from the master's table tonight? We're eating. But when you go home, you're going to meditate. Right. That's the time to meditate. It's not time to meditate while you're in church. You eat while you're in church. When you go home, you meditate. Hallelujah. Psalms 117 and verse 2. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> amen. Praise ye the Lord. Somebody say amen. I'm going to do that. Amen. amen. Sister Morgan, do you want to read something, baby? Okay. Go to Psalms 119, 138. Let 
thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. Very what? Faithful. faithful. God. <laughs> I like that very part. Do you know when God was creating the world, he said good about everything except when it got to man, and he said it was very good. Very faithful. Hallelujah. I want us to meditate. The Holy Spirit say, meditate on the faithfulness of God. This is how you stoke your faith is through memory. You poke it. You stoke your faith through memory. You remember what He has promised and that God keeps His promises and He stands on them. Y'all remember the song that we used to sing uh, a little bit more than what we've done lately, Standing on the Promises of God? Well, I think people quit standing on the promises a little bit and they started sitting on the premises. And, and we need to stand on the promises. We need to make it clear and declare that we are thankful for His faithfulness and His mercy endures forever. Don't just sit and say nothing. Come on. Yeah. Somebody say, don't just sit and say nothing. Stand on the promises of God. How do I do that? I don't just open my Bible and let it fall open and just stare at it. I've got to open my mouth. Mouth. Not just my Bible, Brother John, but my mouth. How many times has the Lord told us to open our mouth and declare some things? Hallelujah. Standing on His promise, intentionally remembering His faithfulness, that through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, oh, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Now, I'm going to tell you something powerful tonight. If you don't forcefully and intentionally say what the Word says, the devil will come and try to steal what God has given you. He'll try to steal it through adversity. He's a thief. He'll try to steal it through tragedy. There may be a loved one that went on to be with the Lord. And Sister Wanda, if we don't keep singing and we don't keep declaring, the devil will try to steal. I, I'll call it this. Uh, you might not understand that. I, Lord, I believe the Lord will help you, though. I call it by oomph of what it takes just to get up every day and do what God has called us to do. And I've had times in my life when the devil tried to snatch that from me. And one of the times is when a family member went on to be with the Lord and I couldn't find my oomph. I couldn't find it. And, and I would stand up to sing. I'd try to sing. And I'm like, okay, I'm like a, I'm like a puppet. I'm like a mannequin. I, I, but the devil was trying to take it. But when I started remembering the goodness of God, and, and when I started remembering and, and people were praying, you know, you need somebody to pray for you. You need to pray for others. And you need somebody to pray for you. But when they started to pray and God said, look, have I ever failed you? And I said, not one time. He said, get your eyes off of people. Get your eyes off of circumstances and get your eyes on me because I will never fail you. I'll never walk away from you. I'll never withdraw my hold on you. I'll always hold you tight. I love what Brother Jerry brought out about the love of God that constrains us. He said he holds us together. The love of God holds me together. And I came out of it. Hallelujah. The devil wants you in a slump. Hallelujah. Come out of it. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm coming out of this slump. Amen. I'm not staying. And one song writer said, I'm coming out of this valley. I'm going to lift my hands and praise the Lord. I'm going to say what the Word says. I'm going to sing of His praises forever. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm not going to be silent. I might be a lot of things, but I'm not going to be silent. Hallelujah. I'm going to lift up my hands. I'm going to wave them in the air. I'm going to be saying what the Word says as long as I have breath. And me and God's got something figured out. If I get a little hoarse and, and it seems like it won't come out, we have got an agreement. And you don't know what this means. But God does. And I said, Lord, if I try to say something and it tries to squeak out, this means praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Somebody needs to find a way to praise God tonight in the middle of the mess. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You need to just worship God. You need to praise Him for His thankfulness, for His goodness, for the fact that you can count on Him. Hallelujah. I'm so glad it's not about me being perfect. 
It's about him. We're going to talk about that. I want to go to Hebrews 13 and 5, Amplified Classic. It is one of my very, very favorite passages of scriptures on the Amplified. Uh, Hebrews 13 and 5, Amplified Classic. I love it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I sense his presence here. Amen. Let your character or moral disposition be free from the love of money, including greed, arrogance, lust, and craving for earthly possessions, and be satisfied. Hallelujah. Come on. Be satisfied with your present circumstance with what you have. Somebody say, I'm satisfied. Hallelujah. For he, God himself, and you can't get any better than that. God himself has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not. Come on. I will not. I will not. It says in the Greek, in any degree, leave you helpless, nor forsake you. Come on, or let you down, relax my hold on you, assuredly not. Glory to God, and I'm counting on his faithfulness of his word. 1 Timothy 1 and 12, let's go there, King James Version. We need, uh, Brother Donald, what we need in the church is not people just hearing the word, but we need them believing the word, we need them quoting the word, we need them standing on the word, and they need to be convinced that that this book is the Word of God. Hallelujah. And you can stand on it. And we need to get to this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Of persuasion. Hallelujah. We need to be in a place of persuasion. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me. For he counted me faithful putting me in the ministry. And then Paul said... I am persuaded. Yep, fully persuaded. Wow. I am persuaded that he is able well, well. to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Paul was saying, I know him. I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is faithful and he is able. So many times you may hear people say, well, you never know what God might do. As if God is unpredictable. God is not unpredictable. God is very predictable. He will do exactly what he said. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Faith is about God's faithfulness, not ours. We've got to listen to where our focus is. Is it on you or me or is it on God? And I, I've said this before. I'm going to repeat this. Healing is not a reward brought on or brought about by your faithfulness. Yeah. Say it again. Healing is not a reward brought on or brought about by your faithfulness. Healing is an established fact, hallelujah, brought about by God's faithfulness, His goodness, and His kindness to you, come on, based on His Word and the finished work of Christ. It's based on His character and His love for you. His perfection, God spoke to me and said, not your performance. I have said a mouthful. I'm going to say it again. Healing is not a reward, reward brought on or brought about by your faithfulness. It's an established fact brought about by God's faithfulness, His goodness, His kindness to you based on His Word and the finished work of Christ, His character and His love for you, His perfection and not your performance. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We were watching a program the other day and a preacher went out and he was going to put a church up in the wilderness and he, he put it up there and then somebody in the middle of the night while he was sleeping set fire to it and it burned to the ground. And while he stood there and looked at the, at the fire, he looked up and he just said, he wouldn't allow this. He wouldn't allow this. 
You know what you do in a case like that? You go buy some more boards, you clear out the pathway, and you put it up again. Just like when they filled the dirt in the in the well, what did they do? He said, what are we going to do? Dig another well. Dig another Come on, you just get out and you keep going forth because, as Brother LJ was under the anointing telling us, God's plan remains the same. It didn't change. Hallelujah. Just keep on. God is somebody say, God's faithful. God's faithful. He told me to do this. That's what I'm going to do. People say, well, through the years, when you stand up to preach, how are you going to know that, that you're going to be preaching and he's going to be there? Because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I've anointed. I've appointed you. I have touched your mouth. All I need you to do is believe me and open your mouth. Hallelujah. If you just believe God, God said the simplest thing you can do is believe in someone that's never failed. Glory to God. Yeah. How hard is it to believe in someone who's never failed? People say faith is hard. No, faith in you is hard. But to believe in someone who's never failed, that's easy. Because God never fails. This is something else the Lord gave me. He said we don't perform like a circus animal or a dog and then get the treat of healing. Right. We don't perform everything right, get everything right, and then when we get all our things checked just right, you know how you get the little stars and the little check marks? He said, you don't perform like a little dog. You don't say, okay, roll over. Come on, do this. Come on, beg. And then we get the treat of healing. The treat, this is what the Lord gave me, the treat has been provided by His grace. That's healing. And is released by the faith that He gave us at the time of salvation. Glory to God. I'm not performing so I can be healed. I'm not saying, well, Sister Janice, you're doing good tonight, so God's really going to be good to me, uh, good to you. God's good to me if I'm rotten. Come, we got to know that. We got to know when you're the, the, the stinkingest little person you could possibly be, when you're the honorist, God is still good. Hallelujah. And your performance may stink, but His perfection stands out. Hallelujah. And you've got to know that because if you don't, the devil will beat you up. He'll eat your lunch and pop the bag, as one preacher said, because you didn't perform right. It is not, let's put it this way, Brother Jerry might not like me burning the butter beans, and he may go to bed upset, but one thing about it, God says, girl, I love you if the burning butter beans are burning or not, and you need to know that, that how God stays with us and sticks with us, and he's not going anywhere. Yeah. We've got to remember, Sister Linda, who the accuser of the brethren is. The accuser's not God. God's not accusing. Have we forgotten that? Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Right. Not God, Sister Evelyn. Satan accuses. Right. Satan accuses you. Satan says you're not good enough. Satan says you didn't perform enough. Satan says God's not going to have nothing to do with you and work a miracle because you didn't do everything right. You need to say God has already prepared my miracle before I even messed up. Don't you remember what he said to Peter? When thou art converted, hallelujah, go and strengthen the brethren. God God had a way made before they even got in the mess. Before they even had the problem, God had the way made. Glory to God. God is positive. Jesus is positive. The Holy Spirit's positive about me. Glory to God. God is positive about me. Don't go, don't go tell God something bad about me. Come on. Jesus is positive about me. He died for me. Hallelujah. I belong to him. The Holy Spirit is positive. He says, come on, get up. Get up. You can do this. Don't think about the past. Think about your future. Don't think about the times you messed up. Just trust me and keep going. Hallelujah. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a child of the Most High God. Somebody needs to say that. You ain't said it in a while. God, hallelujah. I am strong. Hallelujah. Amen. I am 
appointed. I am anointed. I am gifted by God. But people say, well, I don't have as much talent as that was. You are gifted by God. You need to say it and you need to just believe God. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Every need I have has already been met, already supplied by His grace, yeah. and I can receive it by faith. Hallelujah. You say, well, you don't know what's around that next corner. I've been around plenty of corners in my life, and guess what? There's been some things around the corner I didn't know about, but God was there. Hallelujah. God was there. Hallelujah. What else do you need other than the one that created this universe. Hallelujah. The one that spoke everything into existence. Let there be light and there was light. Hallelujah. Formed everything. Glory to God. All you need is God. Hallelujah. You and I, you say, well, I need other people not like you do God. You need to focus on who is your supplier. It's not the person you work for. It's not your husband or your wife. I'm not looking for Brother Jerry to fix me. He don't have what I need. Right Are you listening? He can't fix the inner parts of me. No. He can only go so far. I'm not looking to him. I did but I found out he was human just like me. No. I'm not looking to him. I'm looking to the one that created this universe, <laughs> sent his son to die for me and put me in his family. Yeah. That's who I'm looking to. Glory to God. Who do you say you are? What do you say about yourself? I'm a child of the Most High God. When you get up in the morning, Sister Crystal and Brother John does something stupid. I know this is a stretch. But let's, let's say that Brother John does something crazy. This is, this is fictitious. But he, he does something crazy. And you say something back at him. This is also fictitious. And uh, then the devil jumps in. Well, fine Christian you are. And you stand up in your righteousness. In your place of faith. And you know what you say? I am a child of the Most High God. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the beloved of God. Don't let you, the devil will be so sorry he asks you who you are. Once you find out who you are and you've got enough ammunition, the devil will not come at your door. If you post on your door, I have a 44 Magnum and plenty of ammunition. I wouldn't come in this house if I was you. Once you post something like that and a burglar goes up, they're going to move on down the road. Once you know who you are and you stand up in who you are in Christ, on His perfection and not your performance, your life will change forever. It will never be the same. It will never be. <laughs> oh God, oh God. I can't believe I said that. Oh God, and I told you last week I would never say that again. And I told you the week before that I was never going to get mad at Brother Jerry ever again. <laughs> Lord, I, I said I do. You don't want me to walk in the flesh, so, so I said I wasn't ever going to get upset with him ever again. Not ever, ever, ever. And there I am, upset. Oh, God, oh, God. I, I'd, I'd leave me if I was you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't even know why you call me. There ain't no good in me. I don't know why you call me. There ain't, there ain't nothing in me that you could ever use. And the devil beating you up and beating you up and beating you up. And should, am I saying you should say ugly things? No. But when you do, no, it's not about your performance. It's about His perfection. Amen. And stand in it. Yes. Stand on the promises we've read tonight about the faithfulness of God. That He will never leave you and never forsake you. When the devil says, oh, I've done, I've, I've done walked away. You know, people say, I just... I just believe that, that if you do something enough, God will give up on you. You don't know God. I'm going to tell you something that's so important. Your children can say some of the wrongest things sometimes. 
And if my son Kenneth is listening, I hope he gets something from this. Call mother. <laughs> there was a time that he was saying some pretty raunchy things to me. And I was holding the phone. And when I got off the phone, I went to crying. God, where did I go wrong? I don't know, God. I know what you said in your word, and I know what you promised me, but it just likes it so far away. I was going through all that. And then I got a phone call. Kenneth's just in a car room. He was on his motorcycle, and he was hit by a pickup truck. And he, motorcycle and him, flew over that pickup truck. And he was at the hospital. <laughs> I couldn't get there quick enough. I will see my son. And do you think that God loves you less than you love your children? Oh, my God. He loves us infinitely more than we love our children. I'm standing in his perfection. When I mess up, you need to stand in your righteousness and His faithfulness when you mess up, Brother L.J., more than any other time. Brother L.J. was so open with testifying uh, and so open. And I, I pray that everybody just turns to it and listens to the, to the teaching and preaching he did. Because the goodness of God was multiplied. You need mercy more when you mess up than any other time. And that's when he said his mercy is everlasting. Come on. How long? Well, how long is forever? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Say what God says about you. Hallelujah. Say who God says you are. Stay in line with God. Most of the time problems arise, we just we go crazy and we get off track. We just need to stay in line with God. And what He says, just get up every morning. Go to bed every night. Saying what God says about you. Saying what God says about your family. That you are the apple of His eye. You know what that means? It means you're the pupil. The pupil is the very center of the eye. And you are the center of God's attention. And then the scripture says that if all the thoughts that God thought about you, the good thoughts now, He only has good thoughts, not bad. If all the good thoughts could be added up that He has for you and for me, just me, every day, it would be more than the sands of the sea. Think about that. God keeps covenant to a thousand generations. God and His Word will do to depend on the faithfulness of God's Word. And this is what I preach about the Word. The Word, the Word, the Holy Spirit, the Word. The Holy Spirit witnesses to the truth of the Word. The faithfulness of God's Word is based on the character of God Himself. It's based on the character of God. So a question would be this. A good question. Can I trust God? Is God trustworthy? Can I trust the Word? Is His Word trustworthy? Let's look at John 17 and 17. Then I want to go to Matthew. If y'all will give me a minute or two to finish tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. We've been in your presence tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And um, don't be shocked. He said, sanctify them. Jesus prayed for the disciples. He's praying to the Father. He said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. This is not like any book, Brother Keith. 
Thy word is truth. I want you to go to Matthew 18, 18 through 20. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Somebody lift your hands and say, I receive every word tonight. Come on. I receive every word from the word. Hallelujah. You're getting revelation knowledge tonight. Amen. You agreed. Glory to God. Verily, absolutely surely, I say unto you, written in red, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Do you believe that? Do you trust that? If we believe in and trust in that, we're doing some binding and loosening. Come on, we're binding demon spirit. We're loosening people from situations that's going on. I'm not just complaining about the situation. I'm declaring some things. Hallelujah. And then he says, Sister Linda, as if he had to do it again, he says again. <laughs> Would God have to say it again? <laughs> again, I'll say unto you. Somebody say one time would have been enough. <laughs> but he's going to say it again. Don't want you to forget. Again, I say unto you that if two of you, Brother, uh, take the mic to Brother Donald over here. I want him to read a little bit more right here in this last part, if he would. Amen. And let's read with him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he said it again. He's saying, Janice, I'm saying it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. <laughs> Somebody say, I believe that. Can I count I on that. that? That means if I can get somebody here on earth to agree with me. Not just anybody. He said, if two of you, not any two of you, you got to have somebody in faith with you. Read on this one, honey. Keep reading. For well, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Yep. Mm, come on up, Sister Terry. We're going to sing a, a, that chorus. The people that play instruments, come on up. If you would, please. I'm not making you do it. But come on up. And those that sing in the choir, come on up. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He's in the midst to give D flat, I believe. Hallelujah. If she wants that change going higher, you know what to do, Brother Jerry. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What does in the, what in the midst mean? Where two or three are gathered together in my name. Did you come in his name tonight? Lift up your hand if you did. Where two or three are gathered together in my name. Did we gather in his name, Sister Wanda, tonight? Where that, Sister Wanda said, I agree with you. I got two. I got three. Hallelujah. Got more. Hallelujah. Where two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am. Somebody said, well, well, what are we going to do about that prayer then, Brother Don? When we ask God to come down and be with us, he said, if you gather and gather my name, I'm in the midst of it. I'm in the middle of it. Glory to God. All I have to do is gather in his name. Help. Oh, he's in the midst. Just sing what you know of it, baby. It'll be all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He's in the midst of a storm. He's in the
for he is Try.
He's in the valley we walk through Where two and three are gathered in His name He'll be there too When you feel so all alone He is standing next to you He's with us now I
because I have him. It don't matter. You may think I can't make it through this. I don't know. I don't know how to get through this. I don't know how to navigate. But he does. He does. He knows how. Do it again. Hallelujah. Sister Betty would say it like this. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're leading me to pass that I understanding until we started uh, having the chickens and different yeah. birds and things like that. Right. We went out there and Chris said, you go out there and look in that box. And I was looking in there and it, you know, you think under his wings means underneath the bird, but there was a little baby chicken that was way up here on the top that was completely hid in the wing and all you can see is that little head popping out. <laughs> I said, that thing is hid in the wing. In Praise the wing. God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about we are hid in God's hid wings, in man. Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm great. Thank you, Lord. I'm hid. <laughs> look, look, you <laughs> hey, man. We can just we can just look out at the storm and say, I'm sheltered in the wings of God. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling you, we're I'm, protected, folks. I'm hid. We stand yeah. under the cover of God, standing in faith. Mm. We are sheltered. Thank My you, Lord, Jesus. have mercy. That's so powerful. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, boy. 
Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for sheltering us. Yes. Thank you for keeping us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The day the Lord had brought back Thank to my remembrance Hallelujah. the scripture about Thank you, it says be being filled. Yes. Hallelujah. And the Spirit yes. of God spoke yes. to me and he said, Son, you need to Thank be refilled. Jesus. We don't just get filled with the Holy Ghost one time. It's a continual be yes. being filled. Be Hallelujah. Be Amen. Hallelujah. Have you ever got busy in life and just felt drained. You need to just step back and say, Lord, I, yes. I yield myself for another filling. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Be Thank being Jesus. filled Hallelujah. with the Holy Ghost and just begin to pray in other tongues yes. and let him fill yes. you up. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I'm glad that is a separate, there's a separate happening yes. from being born again. An infilling of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you yes. can live this life victorious mm -hmm. by the power of the Holy yes, Spirit. My Lord, have mercy. Praise God. All hearts clear tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to just pause until we come again. Hallelujah. We don't want to dismiss the presence of God, but we take him with us. Hallelujah. To come back again. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Glory it feels to God. good to be hid, Sister Lynn. I'm hidden in Him. In Amen. Christ. I'm hid. And as He is, so am I. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, we'll, we'll pray. And if you want to go home, you can. And if you want to hang out and just fellowship with the Holy Spirit some more. Thank you, Jesus. Do that too. Amen. Lord, we thank, thank you tonight. You. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> we love you tonight. We honor you tonight, Father, for the, your presence that's in this building. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the dunamis, the power that is in this building, thank Father. Thank you, you for strength. Thank you that the Holy Spirit is filling. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we're, it's a continual filling.